Last summer, our electric bills were about 200 bucks a month. So this summer, I don't think I'll be making an electric payment at all. Our last month's bill was 20 bucks. This month, it'd be nothing or, or they'll owe us. When we were on that savings plan with our other power company, we did not see the savings as we do now, but also we were very uncomfortable. We're more comfortable. Um, it's, uh, I'm able to do quite a bit more things with uh, the power that we have now. And, uh, we're very happy. There are a lot of utilities out there that will offer smart hours. Essentially what that is, is they will actually charge you a higher rate at certain times of the day and a lower rate at other times of the day. So what you have to do to be able to take advantage of that is you have to curve how you are consuming energy. What we like about our systems is when that rate is higher with the utility company, well, we're producing really, really well. Right, because they're raising that rate because it's hot outside, everybody's using the air conditioner. Well, if it's hot outside, it means the sun's out and it means we're producing a lot of electricity. Check it, I check it every day with my app to see the output. It's actually producing so much electricity. It's more than I actually expected. I mean, my plan is just to let it just build up, you know, the credit and then just use it when it's not producing, you know, like winter time when the days are shorter and it's not producing as much. The, w the way that I like to explain net metering, it is essentially your meter like running backwards, right? Like you remember those analog meters, right? And they're always spinning. And so if you're putting more power back on the grid, right? You're, you're essentially making that, that spin backwards. We now have a dial, but you can see um, how much you're using and then how much you're putting back on the grid. Uh, most of our customers are producing three times what they need during the day. And so you're using one third of that power and the other two thirds is going back onto the meters. You're essentially putting that power back on the grid for the utility to then take and use. But then in return, you get to be able to pull kilowatt hours off the grid when you're not producing. And so it's a swap.